July 27, 2001. A memo to Condoleezza Rice concerning Iraq. We've discussed Iraq on a number of occasions. The discussions have been inconclusive. Sanctions are being limited in a way that cannot weaken Saddam Hussein. We can publicly acknowledge that the sanctions don't work over extended periods and stop the pretense of having a policy that is keeping Saddam in the box when we know he has crawled a good distance out of the box. Within a few years, the U.S. will undoubtedly have to confront a Saddam armed with nuclear weapons. If Saddam's regime were ousted, we would have a much improved position in the region and elsewhere. Why the obsession with Iraq and Saddam? Well, you love that word, obsession. I can see the glow in your face when you say it. Well, I'm an obsessive person. Are you? I'm not. I'm, I'm uh, cool and measured. If you look at the range of my memos, there might be one-tenth of one percent about Iraq. The reason I was concerned about Iraq is because four-star generals would come to me and say, Mr. Secretary, we have a problem. Our orders are to fly over the northern part of Iraq and the southern part of Iraq on a daily basis with the Brits, and we are getting shot at. At some moment, could be tomorrow, could be next month, could be next year, one of our planes is gonna be shot down, and our pilots and crews are gonna be killed or they're gonna be captured. The question will be, what in the world were we flying those flights for? What was the cost-benefit ratio? What was our country gaining? So you sit down and you say, I think I'm gonna see if I can get the president's attention. Remind him that our planes are being shot at. Remind him that we don't have a fresh policy for Iraq. And remind him that we've got a whole range of options. Not an obsession, a very measured, nuanced approach, I think.